Number 70. An ECG monitor must have an RC time constant less than 1 times 10 to the 2 microseconds to be able to measure variation of voltage over small time intervals. Letter A. If the resistance of the circuit due mostly to patient chest is 1 kilo ohm, what is the maximum capacitance of the circuit? So just take a step back, kind of what we're given. They're telling us this is the max, essentially, right? Or that the, that the time constant um, has to be less than 1 times 10 to the 2 microseconds. So essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to call that my time constant because that's basically what it is one times 10 but it's not to the it's two um, overall because remember this is microseconds so what i got to do is take this whole thing and multiply it by 10 to the minus sixth when i do that when i combine the tens it becomes 10 to the minus fourth all right so minus fourth and that's now the time constant in seconds they told us the resistance here right uh, is one kilo ohm but you know we need that in ohms so just take that and multiply it by 10 to the three ohms and now capacitance how do we find it oh we got our formula time cap the time constant is equal to the resistance multiplied by the capacitance simply divide out the resistance from both sides look at how lovely that is right how fast and lovely so the time constant here is one times 10 to the minus fourth divided then by the resistance of one times 10 to the third is equal to the capacitance so let's see what we get so this is one times 10 to the fourth div oh, excuse me one times 10 to the minus fourth divided by 1 times 10. Why am I doing this in the calculator? I don't even know. I'm not even thinking. But this is just simply 1 times 10 to the minus 7th. All right? And that will be it in terms of, uh, what do we got? What do we got? Uh, farads. Sorry. All right. So, um, okay. What is the max? Okay. So now, technically speaking, now if, if, if the time constant has to be, uh, if the time constant has to be less than this value, right? Now think about the formula. T is equal to RC. If the time constant has to be less than this number, just, you know, call it 1 times 10 to the minus 5th now. R is constant, all right? Uh, what does that then tell us about the maximum capacitance now? Well, in order for the time constant to lower, right, as we see here, what also has to happen is the capacitance has to be lower, all right? So in other words... The capacitance cannot be equal to this number, but it has to be less than technically that number. So let me just plug in a less than symbol. Okay, that's technically the right answer. Anyway, um, that's that. And then it says, would uh, letter B, would it be difficult in practice to limit the capacitance? Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, not really. Capacitances, you know, vary, and they're usually quite small, micro, nano, and this falls right in there. You know, it's right, it's about 10 micro um, farads, so should be fine. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Please remember to help us out and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Take care.